months later, uh, close to the original audience, uh, one had their pump out, and then another had crush injuries to the skull. And what's very mysterious about it is they, there was like small pieces of radiation found on all of the members. Um, and like also when I left, they like had abandoned all the tents in a hurry because some were wearing shoes, other others were naked and um, like no socks and whatever. And so that's like what makes it so mysterious because there's so many unanswered questions as to why and what. Um, you can do the next slide. So I just want to ask real class, fast. So one of them had the tongue ripped out. Right. And one was yes. crushed. Okay. And then the rest, the other seven were just found um, frozen to death under 40 to snow. Um, so people were very, very quick to jump on the yeti theory and there's like a picture that they use um which is fabricated so there's no that was it and then there was also another theory that there was fireballs which fireballs from the sky which got translated into UFOs. um but only one person said that they saw that um and then another theory that i thought was super interesting was the infrared sound um and it has something to do with like science and the vibrations of the mountains and surrounding because um, they were like in like a bowl shape area. And so like a different sound wave made them go crazy basically. Um, and so I thought that was kind of interesting, but then um, another interesting theory was a secret government operation up there that they like found and weren't supposed to know about. Um, but after, so this happened in Russia and so many people were very, very fearful and, and access to the mountain was shut down, public access was shut down for three years. Um, and so like I have a question here, um, who and what like removed the person's tongue? Where does the radiation come from and uh, like, why did they abandon everything in a hurry? Um, and so those are questions that may never ever be answered. So you can move to the next slide. Um, so one thing that I found was interesting was the police said they encountered a natural force that they were unable to overcome, but I definitely don't think that this was just natural and that this just happened. I think that there was something else in play. And so, um, like I said, I was fascinated. I've been fascinated with this event since 2013 just because of the movie that came out. Um, and then because of the name of the mountains where they were, where they set up and like where they were found and where they were headed, I thought that was super suspicious as well as how some of the members weren't touched and were just, uh, died from hypothermia while others had, were, had traumatic, um, physical injuries, um, and there was no evidence um, and the video footage was destroyed because um, there was like cameras and whatnot up there and they were all crushed and broken and whatnot. And so I think maybe the government or something paranormal happened. That's what I think. Yeah, it was during the Cold War, so the Soviets were playing with stuff. Have you ever read anything about, like, an avalanche? I've seen something. Oh, yeah, there was an avalanche. Um, 
but I, I guess I didn't put that on there because why, how, how could, a, um, where would the rage come from and where, how did one person's tongue get removed? I feel like I might have been an avalanche after the fact, or like, or they were found, but I don't think that that was the manner of death. I that was the cause. Yeah, that's the thing about the tongue that makes it really weird. Does anyone else have another question? That's one of the, it's, it's a great mystery. Well, great mystery, but yeah, it's a good mystery. Lots of, lots of possibilities and yeah, the, some naked and some not, and the way they rip themselves out of the tent's always kind of weird. And how they were splashed from the inside. Why were the tents splashed from the inside? Yeah, that's what I saw about an avalanche where one of the theories was where they, the avalanche was coming and they were just desperately trying to get out and get to shelter. But yeah, that is really weird. That clearly running away from something or 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 they had lost their mind or in terror. All right, no other questions? Yeah, that's a good story. Should we watch the movie now? <laughs> Not. <laughs> That movie was so scary. What's it called again? Devil's Pass. Devil's Pass. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good job. I think you're the last one. Really? Okay. Yeah. So we got all the other ones done. I don't think no one else has to go today or other people turned in papers. And so good. And so my plan is then I'm going to put uh, copies of the papers out, just a copy. Let everyone else look at each other's uh, mysteries and that sort of thing over the next couple days. And also I might put a copy of the presentations out, not the real thing, so you can't change it. But just a copy and this recording will be out there. And then it's just going to be a really basic little quiz on the presentations and also the myths that I talked about in class last week. I'm looking at no more than, you know, I don't know how many questions, maybe 20, 25 multiple choice. That's about it. I couldn't even imagine maybe one short ID, but it should be a really basic little quiz. And so that will be out Wednesday. And so I'll put all this stuff out today. So you have a day to look through them and, and look quiz. And then we start the, <laughs> we jump right into the Iraq war. We got to invade somebody. <laughs> uh, any questions on that? That sound good? Yeah. That sounds good. Okay, then that's all we got for today. Um, oh, one more thing. One of these days, this week or next week, uh, do you want me to talk a little bit? Uh, you can say it now or just drop me a note. Uh, a little bit with what seems to be going on with the economy and stuff like that today. Because this is uh, pretty crazy what's going on. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Anybody else agree with that? Yes. How about yep. I do that? Um, well, we have the quiz on Wednesday. Why don't I do that on Thursday? And then we start the Iraq war after that. Perfect. Sound good? Just spend a little time talking about because this is pretty remarkable and I want to look into a couple things and that'll give me an excuse to do it. All right, then. Um, that's it. Have a good day. And I will. So I'm just going to post that up there. And so the quiz will be on Wednesday. I might uh, come online just a little bit on Wednesday to answer any questions, kind of just to, to talk, but the quiz will be then. All right, that's it. Goodbye.